It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and today we are here for a brand new strategy for Clash Royale. Now this strategy is called the GPS attack strategy. Now that stands for Giant, Prince, and Spear Goblin. You could say GPSG, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to do GPS and this is a really great strategy for early on beginning Clash Royale because that's where I'm at right now and I found it to be one of the most successful. You've told me, I've kind of raved about it in the episode number five of our Let's Play series. But let's go ahead and check out my deck. So this is my current deck. I have a level 3 Knight, level 3 Goblin, level 3 Bomber, level 3 Arrows, level 2 Fireball, level 2 Giant, level 3 Spear Goblin, and a level 1 Prince. So this strategy right here is just really these bottom 3 portions, and they're pretty killer. So what I really do here is I use my Giant as my basic shield, my Spear Goblins as my mini support guys. They don't, they're really cheap, so I can deploy a lot of them really quick. And then I also have my Prince, which is just basically my heavy damage dealer. So let's go ahead and dive into the arena here. So if we go ahead and go straight to the battle, we'll get our first kind of look at how this strategy works. So the best case scenario is when you get a, gob a Giant and a Prince straight in your deck right away. Right here, I don't have that, so sometimes you can kind of wait and save. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my Knight and Goblin. Let me go ahead and say good luck to this guy because that's how I like doing it. So he's going to go ahead and send his Giant right away, but I have a Prince on deck there, so I'm just going to wait a second here. I'm going to throw in a Fireball really quick, and then I'm going to save up. So what you want to do is save up to your max 10 Elixir, or you can start deploying your Giant a little bit in the back here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start setting my Giant on his way, give him a little bit of a boost here give him a little time to get working towards and kind of draw the fire and then here is our prince so i'm gonna wait just a second here send in the prince somewhere now we just lost a tower which is not the best but we should be able to handle it pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and throw in some goblins over here to go ahead and help support and take down this musketeer for me as you can see on the upper right corner this prince is just dealing a ton of damage and the giant's just soaking it all up from these towers so if we go ahead and throw in a bomber to help support here we got some little guys on the left working here and we're doing pretty darn good if we send in our bomber on the right side now he's going to help take down them a little bit quicker and there you go we got the triple crown so the key here like i said the giant's going to soak up all the damage the prince is going to deal the damage and then your spear goblins are pretty much just in the back for basic support or to just drop fire so that's pretty much the gps strategy i really hope you enjoyed it guys but let's go ahead and see if we get one more one more attack let's go ahead and battle here chests are full well guys that's going to conclude it. I really do hope you find this GPS strategy for helpful for you guys. If you have any strategies that you guys are using, go ahead and throw them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys are using because I could actually implement them myself and maybe throw them in a video and I'll give you a shout out. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed as always, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.